Today's base training drill for the day, we're going to be talking about our leadoffs at third base. Third base is a lot, uh, a lot more simple opposed to any other other bases. Our biggest component are two main things when getting our leadoff from third base. The first thing is make sure we're getting our leadoff in foul territory. That way if a ball hits us, we're not considered out. And also get the far enough lead equal to where the third baseman is. Okay, so if the third baseman is 10 feet off the bag, that's how far of a lead we're going to have off uh, in foul territory as a lead. So there's no specific footwork exercise for this one because you never know what the distance is that third baseman is going to be. Just as long as we have our lead off in foul territory, okay, I'm back here. I understand coaches will be in your backside kind of letting you know. Once I have my lead off though, this is the very important part. I'm going to use my head as a foul line. If this is my lead off, I am working as that pitcher is beginning to deliver the ball, I am working towards a foul line. I'm not crossing it. I am not staying out here and creep. You must creep at an angle towards this point. Okay? Ideally, we're landing on that right leg. <clears throat> the reason for landing on that right leg, just to give you another visual, if I'm creeping and I land on that right leg, I can read that ball because I'm tracking that ball from the pitcher's hand all the way to the plate. I'm on that right leg, I can then explode and read a ball in the dirt and take off, or I can load into that leg and get back if I need to uh, on a pick back to third. If I'm on my left leg here, I understand I can still take off and get to the plate, but to get back to third base, I then have to turn my whole body all the way around, or step, drop step, and go back. Okay, it's all about timing, being as efficient as possible. Um, the next component I'm going to talk about in, in regards to our third base base running are fly balls to the outfield. Anytime there's less than two outs, we always encourage the ball players, let's just get back to the bag. If the ball is going to be dropping in front of the outfielders between the infield and outfield, you should have plenty of time to score. Okay, if you, if you look ahead of time like we encourage our athletes, know where your outfielders are, it won't be a problem. You'll know balls that drop. But if we have our lead off here, and we creep, and the ball goes in, I'm getting back to the bag, and I am watching the ball in play. If you'll notice, if the ball is in play, to left field all the way to right field, you'll notice my left leg's on the bag, I'm on the ball's my feet, my front foot is towards the target. The only thing that is open is my shoulders and my head watching that ball. If the ball is in foul territory, switching up my feet and I'm watching okay one of the biggest things and one of my biggest pet peeves is when athletes are taught to look away from the play and rely on their coach to tell them go that is nonsense okay my eyes can tell me ball is caught I can go if I'm relying on my coach and my head is down like this I have to wait for him to see the catch, process it, yell go, and then me react. Okay, and I get that it's nanoseconds, but that is a lot over the course of, um, you know, time in regards to stealing, bang, bang plays at the plate. Okay, it also gives me uncertainty because if I'm watching the coach, I got the, I got the yips. I'm waiting, I'm like, okay, when's he going to catch it? When is he going to call it? That, that's very unsettling as a base runner. Base, runner, base running is the easiest component of the entire game, but we overcomplicate it. That is overcoaching. I get that the coaches will say, go, but your eyes should be on that ball the entire time. You're tracking it yourself. The second you see that ball caught, you're going. Okay, and you gotta go hard and explode off the back. Don't be so reliant on the coach with your eyes down and worried about when he's going to say go. That should not occur. Your eyes are watching that ball. Again, from left to right, I'm here. Anything in foul territory, I'm here. The reason we don't go like this is you got to turn your body all the way around. Again, it's just making it more challenging, okay? This is a lot easier and more comfortable. And that is our lead-offs and tagging up from third base.